Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. I want to give you guys the ultimate hydrogen inhalation protocol. But before I go down that road, I need to address something that I'm not really happy actually to particularly address, but it's been coming up a lot. People have been giving me a lot of feedback on this. And apparently a lot of people in the hydrogen world, when they actually talk about me, and they'll say that I'm just a young, dumb kid who doesn't know anything about hydrogen. And you know, obviously that's pretty hurtful, but you know, the reality is guys, and I don't talk about it a lot, but I actually, I started going to college when I was 13 years old. I graduated early, I've been specializing in the medical field for 20 years, but the truth is I never talk about it because it really doesn't matter. I mean, people actually will ask me things like, or they'll tell me, they'll be like, there's a doctor who's promoting this product. There's a doctor who's talking about this product. And of course they ask for my opinions, but the truth is guys, it doesn't really matter if somebody is a doctor. I'm not trying to bash anybody or anything at all, but the truth is it doesn't matter. I mean, you don't get taught about hydrogen therapy and anything about really hydrogen and its protocols or proper protocols in medical school. So it really doesn't matter. In order for me to learn what I've learned, I've had to do extensive research and it's really led me primarily overseas. And I've even had to learn and think outside the box in order to really come up with really good protocols and really good ways to make hydrogen. And I've even had to learn about things that don't even really interest me. Things, for example, like metal technology. In order to make hydrogen properly, metal is super important. In fact, there's, super, there's certain components that are incredibly important. And when I was researching metal technology, I found fascinating that the highest or number one technology in the world actually comes from Japan in regards to metals. I thought it would have been like maybe the US or Germany who have good metal technology, but I didn't realize that Japan is actually number one. And so all these factors are incredibly important as far as making hydrogen, because I know there's a lot of talk out there about the benefits of hydrogen, and that's all great, but what people don't seem to be realizing is that the way you make it is incredibly important. I've been learning this as time goes by. And so I just wanted to address these things, but I really want to keep things positive. So I'm not really going to talk about it anymore. I'm just addressing it this one time. Let's really get down to it. Let's talk about a proper inhalation protocol of hydrogen gas, okay? And even before I tell you guys the secrets, because I got some secrets about it, I want to give you guys the date, January of 2019. And you may be saying, why would you want to give us the date? Well, because I have been noticing a pattern now for a while. What actually happens is a lot of these people in the hydrogen world troll and watch my videos, they gain my knowledge, and then they try to disperse it or say that it's theirs and share it with people and still have the audacity to call me the young dumb kid who doesn't know anything. And so this time I actually want to document this so everybody knows where this information is truly coming from. So let me give you guys the inhalation protocol. And also before I tell you the actual protocol, it's super important that I address this. The protocol is based on the equipment that I'm using. I can't stress enough how important this is, because all there's, there's so many different numbers in regards to different hydrogen machines. It gets really, really confusing. Believe me, I've done all the research and the equipment that I'm using, this protocol is for that equipment. So if you see things like, for example, I've seen some of these guys where they put a tubing like a cannula and they inhale the hydrogen gas for, from such a device, Guys, my recommendation, never do it. It's not even good for your health. The way that they produce hydrogen, and I know a lot of times they'll say, oh, it's just letting the ozone out of here. Look, there's other gases that it produces. It's literally created within the water. You do not want to be inhaling those gases. They're actually harmful for you. So please don't follow this protocol with the wrong equipment. And then I also need to touch on other equipment because people contact me all the time who use like devices that make hydrogen and oxygen together. Do not follow this protocol if you're using that type of equipment. Also, I don't recommend that equipment personally. Oxygen is not something you wanna inhale regularly. It's something that if you are gonna use it, it's something to be cycled and used in a very specific manner. I'm not gonna go into the proper protocol for something of that nature. This is strictly on hydrogen gas, again, for the equipment that I'm using. So let's go ahead and just get on with it. January 2019, let me let you in on the secret. This is a secret hydration guys this is actually going to really enhance the effects of your hydrogen inhalation what you actually want to do is get properly hydrated before you even do the inhalation you're going to want to drink between 16 to 20 ounces of hydrogen water that is at a level of 1.0 ppm to 1.6 ppm preferably making it cleanly correctly in the way for example that i make it i've shown you guys on other videos how to make the hydrogen water correctly so i don't need to go into that right now 
And then you're gonna wanna do your inhalation for 30 minutes. Okay, now remember, this is an overall protocol. I got different protocols based on different conditions. This is a nice overall protocol. You're gonna wanna do this inhalation 30 minutes, about four times a week, maybe five times a week. You can even do six times a week. You could do it seven times a week, though I personally recommend take one day off, so that way you're really doing it between four to six times a week. Some people even ask me, can I inhale it for, let's say, an hour? It's fine, guys. If you're using this equipment, it's totally fine. If you wanna do an hour and a half, it's fine. I'm just telling you that 30 minutes is a nice overall protocol. Just, you know, again, to help you guys all out there because again, I know that things are incredibly confusing when it comes to hydrogen. So I hope you found the video helpful as usual. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did or if you just wanna be nice or you just wanna say, hey, hydrogen, we love you. Thanks for making the videos because I put a lot of research and a lot of work to get you guys the correct information because there's so much misinformation out there right now, which is why I feel the need that I have to address these things and really show you guys proper protocols. So also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you wanna share, sh share on social media, you're also welcome to share it because there's a lot of people out there who don't even know about hydrogen and it can really benefit people. And that's why I love it so much. And that's it guys. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time on the next video.